Hello! Today we will talk about lingerie typeface and see how to create beautiful typography with not much of an effort. Before we get started, please make sure you have Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, or the latest version of Photoshop installed on your computer. I'm using Illustrator CC 2017, but you can do the same thing with the other Adobe software I mentioned. Okay, let me show you the basics of lingerie typeface. As you may know, lingerie typeface comes with six styles and two families, regular and bold. Each style has its own unique appearance. I'll start with lingerie typeface regular plain style, and I want to show you how to take advantage of it and create beautiful typography using the extra glyphs. One thing that is really important is to have the glyphs window open, or at least have the shortcut available for you in the side toolbar. You'll use it a lot with lingerie typeface. Okay, let's get to work. You can type any title you feel like. I'll choose to use New York. Now that we have the title on our canvas, let's add some fun. In the glyphs window, you can see many, many alternate glyphs that lingerie typeface comes with. You can scroll down and play with that later on. Select one letter in the title that you choose, and look what's happening in the glyphs window. Our letter marked in blue. In the right bottom corner of the blue glyph, you can see a small arrow. It means that this glyph has some hidden glyphs, or as I like to call it, secret glyphs. You can click on this arrow and a small window will show you the secret glyphs behind your letter. I chose the uppercase N, but if you chose another letter, you'll see different glyphs that are designed for that specific letter. Another way to explore secret glyphs is to click on the Show drop-down menu on the top part of the glyphs window. Now select Alternates for Current Selection option. It will show you the alternate glyphs for the selected letter. Now all you need is to choose the right swashes for your title. As you can see, not all of the swashes will fit for this specific word, but not to worry, it probably will fit other words. Now that you set the swashes to your title, let's see what else we can do with lingerie typeface. In the glyphs window, there are tons of swashes, but there are also cool ligatures and alternate glyphs. Let's take, for example, the lowercase k and see what alternate glyphs it comes with. As you can see, the lowercase k comes with thousands of really cool glyphs. Let's try a few of them. Let's select this glyph, for example. Or this one. Oh, this one looks cool. You can play with it forever. It's pretty amazing what you can do with this font. Okay, now that we have selected the alternate glyphs, let's see how it looks in different style. Just to remind you, we are using lingerie typeface regular plain style. So as I said, we have six styles. Plain, Exit, Diamond, White. The wild and italic styles come without swashes, but they are gorgeous. Vogue magazine is using them and it looks great, even without the swashes. Let's select the regular exit style to see how it will affect our title. And this is with regular diamond style. And regular white style. I also want to show you how my title looks in the regular wild and italic styles without the swashes. So this is New York in regular wild style. And this is the regular italic. 
Now let's see how the bold family looks. I'll duplicate the word so you will see all the styles together. One last thing I want to show you is the Swash's Ends. The Swash's Ends is an original invention of Moshik Nadav typography and made only for lingerie typeface. The Swash's Ends comes in three variations. Camisole, Kimono, and Pico. Let's play with it a little bit. As you can see, the word New York was made with lingerie typeface, regular plain style, with camisole swash ends. Now let's see how it looks with kimono. And here we're going to change the swash to pico. Of course, you can do whatever you feel like, taking different swashes and mixing between the style and weights. Lingerie Typeface gives you the complete freedom to design amazing typography in a new and amazing way. So this was the first introduction to Lingerie Typeface. I hope you liked it. For those of you who haven't purchased a license for Lingerie Typeface, I strongly recommend you do it now. You can use this code showing up on the screen to get a discount for your first order. Hurry up, it's a limited time offer. Feel free to ask us questions and let us know what you think of Lingerie Typeface. You can find more information about lingerie typeface on our website or on our Facebook page. Thank you.